Okay, how is everybody doing? We are gonna show you a new tent setup designed and built by Bo Beatty and his wife at Wilderness Ridge Trail Llamas. Um, I believe he had it designed by, with a company named Snow Trekker. Either way, he's selling them now, and this is one of the models that he gave us to use. It's a nine by nine, I believe, right? Mm -hmm. Floorless, and comes with, we, we brought a camp stove. Um, it's a thin walled canvas, but we're just gonna show you real quick the setup on it and kind of give you our rundown of usage. We're at the end of our week now. This is our third or fourth time setting it up and we'll kind of speed through. First thing we did here, it comes with 14 stakes. All four corners we stake out, you just rolled out the canvas. It folds up to about this big and it fits in a sill sack and we jammed it down in our one saddlebag. We put all four corners out just like your typical tent. It's easy peasy. Comes with these stakes here. Run in with a rock, rubber mallet, whatever you want to use. They drive down in, hold the corners up. Once you get all four corners squared, there's two front accessories and two side accessories to keep the wind flaps from underneath. And we nailed all those down. So now you have eight around the outsides. And then from there, we're gonna take the camera, we're gonna go onto the inside to show the setup for the peak and the arch support, which is pretty simple, really. It's only five poles. Five poles in this really unique design that he used to contour them all together, which should look pretty good. So we'll jump inside the tent real quick and you can kind of see how those look. Now every pole that he did designed for this tent are naturally around the same size and they do the same thing with these cool interlockers. So they break down with these stretch ropes, which you've seen before in lots of kids' toys and other tents, and they all look very similar. So there's not a lot of figuring out which one does what. There is, let me see that. Two very, very skinny, narrow gold rods, and they're for the front door. And you have four stabilizers for the sides of the tent, which we'll show you once we put up. And they're actually very nice for uh, extra support on the outside of the tent so the frame isn't taking all the brunt of it. And we'll show you what you do with these here in one minute. The inside of the tent, comes with four stability poles with these white tip knobs, which are make it very easy. That is what goes into the ground, which will give you the angle of the stability. And the key to the inside are these fabricated devices that he had built. So they'll go into the corner of the tent, your head rod will go into there, and then your two stability supports come down at an angle. It's really pretty cool. Makes it extremely practical to install the inside. I mean, you can't really mess it up. This goes up into the corner and you get the rods coming off for the support, center support and side support. So we're gonna install them on the inside, raise the tent, then we'll bring you inside and we'll show you exactly what that looks like. Okay, I'm gonna bring you inside and show you what that looked like. Pretty simple. So, these rods installed into the top, which installed into the corner posts. With two of us, that took about 25 seconds. And in your support beam that comes across. Now you can see this canvas is sagging real heavily. We're gonna show you next what to put on the outside to keep these exterior walls pushed out, which works extremely well. So now what you have is these sidebars. This and this are the same length. So you'll run this sidebar through there. This little hole gets, that's what this tab's for. Another one down there. And then you run the side tension support. And this little mechanism here you can, yeah, you can guy outline. You can just unlock, pull tension on it, and really, really pull that back wall out. And your walls are supporting. I would say last night we were probably in 40 mile an hour wind. 
and they were holding strong. So, I mean, I don't know how much worse you'd want to go in anywhere anyways to do that or to be in a tent, but it was no problem close to 40. I mean, the walls were flapping, but they weren't given as long as you have the stakes down. So that's it. You do two of those, one on this side, one on the back wall, one on the other wall, and you do the exact same thing to each on the door. And then I'll walk around and show you the final product. All in all, probably, I would say a two-man job, 15-minute setup, mm. probably. One-man job, maybe 25 minutes, tops. Breakdowns really quick. So we're going to get this finished up, then I'll show you the rest. So we're going to show you the final walkthrough with this tent. We have the stove all set up. Um, I didn't show you the stove setup because I think they're all the same. It's just pipes going into the camp stove. But we did opt to bring that. Um, it's a little extra weight, but obviously, if, if you want to have the warmth, that's what you do. So these front guidelines work real nicely with the pole to pull out the front pressure to keep the door from kind of collapsing on itself, and it helps the stability for where the camp stove's running out. Um, the guidelines on the sides, like we showed you one already, it runs with the poles. These are the same poles, so they're interchangeable. You guideline, you tension it, it pulls all that out, which opens up the canopy on the inside. The back has the same thing, as well as the other side. So on all four sides, you have these walls pulled out real far away from the base. So when you're in there, you're actually getting a lot of extra square footage because you don't get the TP lean like with most, um, most camping tents. So this wall, I can stand, I'm six foot and I can stand right here at the very edge. You gain all that instead of the collapsing of the normal tent structure, which is, he designed that and that made a big difference to be honest with you. You don't have the tent sagging. So when you come on the inside, you can see, I believe this is the nine by nine, which is the smallest that he makes. And I'm six foot and it's not even remotely close to my head and how much space I can move at this height. And the camp stove is completely out of the way. Um, we sat in here with our two beds made up with two chairs, eating dinner and cooking. And in reality, we're probably gonna take this to Alaska in a few years and we might get the next size up, which is an extra foot, but I think we can make this thing work just as well. Um, I believe the tent and posts out the door was 20 pounds or 19 pounds, which is pretty efficient to get a tent this size. 16. 16? 16 pounds for posts and wall tent. Obviously your stove adds weight for whatever type of stove you're gonna bring. Um, I, we will tell you it efficiently heats up. That stove is for sure way large enough. If you had something smaller, I mean, we were venting air through here because it held heat so well. So all in all, I mean, we would give it a pretty good rating. It's probably the easiest thing that we've ran. No moisture whatsoever, zero. We had never had moisture in the morning from us being inside it. Um, it heats up fast, tons of space, easy setup, easy packability. So thumbs up from us. So if you're looking for one, definitely give Bo a call at Wilderness Trail Llamas. Hammer his wife because I know they're selling them now. They've already sold a bunch out like he has none in stock. So check them out. Pretty cool tents.